Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to another episode of TechWoid. Today I wanted to show you guys um, the software I'm using for recording the screen. Uh, as you notice, my first video about the VMware player and Windows XP installation, um, the quality wasn't as good. Uh, so I've been working on trying to get the uh, higher quality videos. And my latest uh, two videos they turned out to be HD and I wanted to share this with you show you guys how it works so the recording software I'm using is cam studio as you can see here cam studio recorder okay, so uh, you go to open up your web browser you go to Google uh, type in cam studio in the search bar and uh, click on the first link camstudio.org then what you want to do is scroll down until you find this area here download links um, version I'm using is Cam Studio version 2.6 beta right now it's a beta but when you guys see this it might be uh, the actual build or it might be a newer version of the beta so uh, I'll click this it'll take us to the SourceForge uh, download website um, one thing SourceForge sometimes it can be confusing so you don't know there's so many files you don't know which one to pick um, the tip the trick I use is you look over here in these this area and you can see how much times the file has been downloaded uh, recently so this file its bars are blue it's all the way up so you can tell that this one's the file this one is the setup file that everybody is downloading um, so you go ahead click this um, wait the download to start five seconds and um, then we'll save it save it um, I already have this install uh, the setup file there so uh, you guys save it and once the fi file finishes downloading uh, start the setup you click run then yes you can hit next I accept the agreement next uh, this you f page you don't have to change anything you just hit next again um, and then the full installation uh, you want to make sure that this drop down menu says full installation and you click full installation then you go next uh, after this you click uh, next and the installation will start and uh, that's basically it. there will be a page asking if you want a desktop icon I click yes just to make it easier for me to access and um, it will install I already have this installed so uh, I won't be installing it again um, and so when you're done it'll you you'll have the icon here in your desktop you double click it and it'll start and it'll look like this this box right here that I have open it'll look like this so, so now you have it installed um, I'll just show you guys quickly what settings I'm using for my cam studio so this is basically um, just to make it easier for me and to try and get the best quality what it, or the quality at least the quality I'm getting um, if please you guys uh, s comment and let me know what wha what you think of the com uh, quality how to make it better any suggestions something like that uh, but this is uh, how to get the quality I'm getting right now in these YouTube videos so you wanna click options um, first of all just some maintenance uh, I go to make it easier for me, I make under play AVI files when recording stops. I use uh, I click on use system default player. That way, once the video is done, it'll uh, load. It'll play in your default Windows Media uh, player, and it'll show you what the video looks like. So I keep it as system default. Um, then for directory for recording I leave this uh, use Windows temporary directory or you can set it up at a specific di directory where you want the videos to save uh, but what I do is under name of AVI file it by default it's set to this automatic file naming but I click ask for file name so that way I'll have um, it'll ask me what the file name is and I can save it wherever I want from then and uh, yeah that's uh, basically the general options there after that I click on record audio from microphone 
because uh, yeah I want to be able to use the microphone talk while uh, comment basic uh, commentary while the video is going on um, so you want to click this by default it's set on do not record audio so you want to click on record audio from microphone you can also click record audio from speakers uh, say if you're recording a game or something that way all the audio from your game coming out of your speakers that'll be recorded instead of the microphone but you can do uh, you can do both as well uh, um, so after that um, you want to go to video options to show you guys the video options um, I'll actually be showing it through a VM because if I show you if I try to show you guys the video options while it's recording um, the program freezes for some reason so I'll be showing it to you guys on this on my XP VM here uh, it's the same thing so you go to options video options and uh, what I have set it set as is Microsoft video one you wanna drag this all the way to hundred percent so 100 uh, the quality is 100 and you leave it as auto adjust and make sure it's at max f max frame rate and then uh, after that you click OK and um, yeah that's that's basically the settings you wanna have uh, uh, after that you'll you're ready to go you're good to go to record all your videos and um, I'll actually be releasing another video after this showing you guys uh, what to do after your video is done after you set up your video um, what software to use to um, edit your videos make it look good and um, finally upload it make it ready uh, to upload to YouTube or any other video site of your preference so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and um, please don't forget to uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, let everybody else know about this channel. Um, so thanks guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next videos.